Hello, today we're going to be investigating the relationship between mass and weight. Here I've got my spring scale or my Newton meter. What this allows us to do is it allows us to measure the force of gravity or the weight of an object. When I pull down with a force, you can see that the marker moves down, letting us know exactly how many newtons of force is acting upon that object. I've also got some masses, which we're going to hang from the bottom, and we're going to investigate what happens when I change the amount of masses to the amount of force acting upon them. So let's get started. Here I've got one mass of 100 grams. I can read off my spring scale to see the amount of newtons. What happens when we add more? Let's add a second. You can see that the amount of newtons has increased. We're going to keep doing this and we're going to collect the data for up to 900 grams. So here we go. Now we've collected all the data, let's analyse it. Here's our results from the practical that we just completed. What you need to do now is plot a graph to show the relationship between mass and weight. When you've done that, come back and check out part two to find out more about this relationship.